Hi, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. And in this video, we are going to learn how to install Flutter on your macOS. If you are starting with Flutter, then make sure to subscribe to this channel and like this video so that you can see more videos like this. So let's get started and start with Flutter installation on your Mac OS. So as you can see, now we are on the Flutter installation page and from here I will click on Mac OS and from there I need to download this option, uh, the Flutter zip file and I will save it somewhere. Let's say I save it into the downloads and we need to wait for this since it is 1.1 GB file. And once it is downloaded, then we will move forward and complete the remaining steps. Now this file is downloaded uh, and I would like to move it to the document so that, you know, I can, I do not accidentally delete this file from the download. So I will move it to the documents and inside the documents, I have different folders. What I can do is that I can create a new folder with the name of Flutter. And I can move this file inside this Flutter folder. And inside this Flutter folder, I will right click on this file and click on archive utility and this will extract uh, this file. So let's wait for it. Now, as you can see that the file is extracted successfully and what we can do is that we can, we need to add this folder into our path. Okay. After moving this Flutter folder to the documents folder, I'm going to open terminal and inside terminal, I am going to type in a uh, command to check out that which shell I'm using. So the command for that is echo dollar sign shell. And in, inside the terminal, you can see that I'm using the shell and to edit the V shell, I need to run another command. And that command is vim dot Z S H R C. And you can see that now we are in the Vim editor and inside the Vim editor, I need to, uh, type in another command that is, that is used for adding the path. So to add the path, what I will do is that I will click on I so that I can edit this file and inside this file, I can type in export path is equals to single quotes. And inside the single quotes, I need to type in another variable that is the dollar sign path equal to uh, colon and colon after the colon, I need to add the path of our bin folder. So, uh, let me see that where is that folder inside this flutter folder. This is, there is a bin folder and we need, we can, what we can do is that we can just drag and drop this inside our terminal and it would auto automatically uh, get the path of this folder and add it to the end of this, uh, command. And now we need to close this, you know, variable and now to add, now to write this file, what I will do is that I will click on escape and in, after clicking on esca escape key from your keyboard, I will, uh, enter colon and W Q explanation sign. And we need to be in the small caps W key explanation sign and hit enter. Now our path variable is updated to verify that whether it is working or not, you can type in command flutter dash dash version. And now you can see that it is not updating or not showing. So what we can do is that we can restart our terminal and verify that. So after restarting the terminal, I can type in flutter dash dash version. And now you can see that it is going to show us the correct version of our flutter. So after a while it shown the correct version of the flutter, it, which means that our path is successfully added in inside the variables. So to check that, what we can do is that we can also run flutter doctor and it will tell us that which things are remaining to be installed inside our machine. Running this command, you can see that our flutter installation process is complete. However, it is saying that there is some problem with the Xcode and Android toolchain, which we are going to fix. That's not an issue. And you can see that it is saying Chrome is installed. Android studio is installed and command devices is, is also green. Please note that you will also need to install the Xcode from the app store. In my case, I have already installed. So just in your case, if the Xcode is not, you know, installed, then go ahead to the app store and install. Okay. So to solve the Android toolchain problem, first of all, what we need to do is that we need to open Android studio. And inside Android studio, what I'm going to do is that I need to, uh, install the flutter plugin. So, and after opening the Android studio, you can click on this plugins option. And inside this plugin option, what you can do is that you can type in flutter 
to search out and you can see that I need to install Flutter and it is saying that I need to accept that and after that I need to click on install and let's wait for this now after installing this Flutter plugin I need to restart my IDE so let it restart okay now it restarted the android studio and inside the android studio what we can do is that we can create a new flutter product as you can see that this option is now coming in but to solve this problem we need to run another command in our terminal and that is showing here so flutter doctor android licenses just copy this and inside the terminal we can run this command so let me open the uh, terminal which is already open and I need to just paste this command. So after pasting, pasting this command you can see that we are getting an error that is the Android SDK manager not found which means that we need to add the path of the Android SDK manager to our variable so that it can detect from the terminal as well. So let's do this. Okay to solve the problem with the Android SDK manager not found we are going to open the RC file again by running this command and inside this command what we are going to do is that we need to add the path of our android sdk manager so that the command line knows as, knows that where is the android sdk manager so to find out the android sdk manager path we are going to open the android studio and inside the android studio we are going to look at the android sdk path so you need to click on this option from here and from here you need to click on sdk manager and after clicking on an SDK manager, it, it is going to the Android SDK and from the SDK, Android SDK, what you can do is that you can copy this path and now you can go back to the terminal and inside the terminal, you, what you can do is that I, again, we need to go into the edit mode. So hit I from your keyboard. So you can see that we are now in the insert mode and after going into the insert mode, we are going to do the same with the Android uh, SDK path so I will type in export path is equals to and after this we can just copy paste the path that I have copied and after pasting this path we need to type in platform tools path so I will write platform dash tools and now I will close this and after doing this I will click on escape button from my keyboard and then again colon wq explanation sign and hit enter now we are in the terminal again and now we need to restart the terminal so that this these changes can take effect so i will close this and i will run this terminal again and now when what we are going to do is we are going to run the flutter doctor again so now you can see that it is going to do the same steps so after running the flutter doctor command you can see that there are few errors for example one for the android section and one for the x xcode section so in th to solve the problem with the android tool chain what we are going to do is that we need to install the cmd line tools uh, tool component which is missing so to install this what we can do is that we can open the android studio and inside the android studio we can install this so i will just open the android studio and inside the android studio what we are going to do is that we we can click on this option more options and click choose sdk manager and inside the SDK manager, you need to click on this SDK tools option and inside the SDK tools option, you need to choose this Android SDK command line tools. And now you need to click on apply and it will ask you to download these for you. Click on OK. And now it is asking to accept the terms and conditions. Click accept and then next. Now it will take some time depending on your internet connection and uh, system specification and it will download the files for you so let's wait here as you can see that this is installed and now we need to click on finish and ok from here and after that i will just reopen my terminal window so that all these changes take effect so what i will do is that i will just close this and i will open the terminal again and inside the terminal i am going to type in flutter doctor command again so i will type in flutter doctor and you can see that now it will do the same process again and see if there are any errors so now at least uh, one error is gone for the android toolchain and 
to solve the remaining issue what we need to do is that we need to run this command flutter doctor android licenses and the other warning that we are seeing will also go away so just copy this and after typing this command i will hit enter and this will accept the licenses now it is saying review the licenses that have not been approved so i will enter y and hit enter I will type in Y and hit enter, then Y, y again and hit enter and same goes for the remaining. Okay, now, now I will try to run the flutter doctor command again and see if this warning is coming again. Now you can see that this uh, Android tool chain is marked as green which means that everything is fine here but there is one warning that is showing for xcode okay to solve the problem with the xcode what we are going to do is that we need to install the cocoa ports and to install the cocoa ports you can run this command sudo gem install cocoa ports and hit enter and now it will ask you to enter your system password and hit enter now i have entered my password now this will go ahead and install the cocoa ports for you so now let's wait here so now our coca ports installation is complete now let's run this flutter doctor command again and see if there is any error showing after this as you can see that there are no issues detected inside the flutter installation everything is marked as green which means that your installation was successful so congratulations